Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 18th of October 2025. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying life as best you possibly can and about to have a great weekend. I say about to because it is Saturday here. It's still very early in the morning. Uh, I woke up. Uh, did I wake up in the night? As Yes. And have I been waking up in the night for the last couple of months? Yes, I have. <laughs> I'm hoping... Uh, to get some better quality sleep uh, in the coming weeks, uh, get back to like a normal sleep routine where I can sleep enough. Uh, I think that will happen with some increased level of exercise and some decent fresh food. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, what's going on in the world? Finally, Prince Andrew is giving up his titles, although he's still going to be called Prince because you can't give that up, apparently. Although there is a bill uh, going to be put forward to say that uh, that can be declared. I think not just him, but, you know, a, a monarch can declare uh, the removal of uh, the title of Prince or Princess. Uh, but that's not the case at the moment, apparently. But uh, he's going to give up his dukedoms and other things like that apparently don't feel sorry for him i'm sure he's got enough money tucked away um <laughs> uh the guardian has done a really bad job today in uh talking in doing a timeline this is a fall of prince andrew a timeline and uh it gives lots of uh, details um small you know small details on the way but all of them are related to the Epstein affair just about just about all of them it's like you know starts with his birth and then goes on to a few uh, um uh, um years along the way when he gets married etc when he has his children and then suddenly leads up to the Epstein matter uh, the thing that gets me is i don't know why it always takes sex for these people to be in the scandal that eventually brings them down. This man has had the one of the worst, most egregious lifestyles, presumably or allegedly, I have to say that, funded by corruption of any individual. Uh, just go to the Wikipedia page. You will find pages and pages and pages of scandals where he is alleged to have been involved in bribery and corruption. Uh, and it, it's 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 astonishing. I don't know how he has lasted this long. I really don't. Uh, you know, up to this point, he should have been he should have been gone years ago. Um, but uh, of course, there is uh, um, since he's you know member of the royal family, he's entitled to secrecy and protection of the state. And in fact, uh, let me just let me see if I can find where it is. He's got some. Uh, uh, he is allowed to, his stuff is allowed to stay secret until, I, I found it somewhere, I can't know if I still have it, but it's, oh, 2065, um, 2065, so another 40 years, and being as though he's only one year older than me, that means he's not going to be alive to see it, of course. Um, that's when the secrets about his trips, his business trips between 2001 to 2011 will be released. Uh I say release them now. <laughs> Let's find out exactly what's true and what's just allegations because I feel that this man is one of the most corrupt on the planet. You'd be amazed. He even he'd almost give Trump a run for his money. Well, okay. All right. No, now I'm now I'm overreaching, but you know, it's quite astonishing. All right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? I'm back with you on a regular daily basis, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to start with the sixes blocking down here, across here, and across here. Which game am I playing? The Guardian. Oh, he also there was also a comment from him about The Guardian one time, said, complaining about how investigative journalists just got in the way of business people wanting to do stuff, which meant corruption. <sighs> oh, he, he hated The Guardian, so that's a good reason to be playing this Sudoku puzzle, I think. Six there. We've also got... Uh, what did I see? Where is it? We've got eight blocking those two squares there. We've got eight going up here, eight coming down here. So in this row, there's an eight. And we've got, yes, six blocking those two squares and six blocking up here. There's a six there. I'd spotted all of this. Oh, not this one up here, though. I can now see this, uh, which I probably should have spotted, but I didn't see that one. 
there uh, how much more is there to go with the sixes there can't be too much more I think this is probably our ultimate six indeed okay goodbye digit six Uh, two blocking across here two blocking up here and down here will give us two in that square two blocking across here and down here this is supposed to be the guardians um, what is it Saturday right that means it's the uh, what do you call it day <laughs> expert level puzzle I've forgotten <laughs> what it's called even expert level puzzle so that might mean there's a Sudoku thingamabob on its way towards the end here because this is a very fast and easy start so maybe that means there's some logic type puzzle to watch out for in a minute could be true five blocking this way and five blocking that way we slowing down now maybe we are no nope. four up here still doing the easy ones Uh, what can I see about this block here? Well, I can see that one is in one of these squares. Uh, that's one and eight, right? So one and nine block across here. That puts one and nine into those squares. And what will we be left with? We'll be left with not one on nine. That's going to be two, four, seven in those squares there. And two and seven are together. So that must be our four down there now we have four blocking across here four down there that's a four and since we already know that this is one and nine that's going to be a seven seven blocking up here so seven in one of those two squares blocking across seven blocking down here up here that must be a seven Uh, I can get this, can't I? Because I know what goes here. I can work out what goes here and then I can find out what this is. Or I could just, more simply, I can just see what goes there because I know that that's 1 and 8 already. So I can say that this must be a 3 to complete that row. I think we are out for easy options now. All right, so let's wander through the numbers. Here we go, three blocking this square, three blocking this square, so in this column there's our three, three across here, three blocking up there, there's a three, 
three blocking across there. There goes a three. And we're going to finish threes. There's only a couple more to get. Three blocking up like this and across there. There's a three and three blocking here and up and up. This should be the last one, I think. Yep, three is out of the way. Let's have another look at what goes there. That's going to be seven, eight, nine. Uh, yeah, still can be. So these are not seven or eight or nine. They must be one, four, five, I think, in this row. And we've got four and five together, so that will be our one. Let me say one blocking across this way and one across that way. There's our one. Last number over here is a nine. Let's see. Oh, one empty square here. Um, is that a nine that we need for that column? I believe so. Four blocking this square, so this is a four, four blocking across there. There's the final digit four. Missing number here is a five. nine blocks this square here we need a nine in this column that's our nine this is our one we need a one to complete the column Five blocks this square, five blocks this square in this row. There's our five. Eight blocks this square in this row. There's our eight. And the last number for the row is two, I think. Two blocking to the bottom and across there. There's our two. One more digit to go here, seven, I think. I don't think there's enough space left for a logic puzzle at this stage. I think it's just going to be easy all the way. I think eight at this point, blocking up eight across there. There's our eight. Uh, eight blocking down here. Yeah there's, yeah, there's no room left for a logic puzzle. It's just turned out to be an easy game. That's all. Nothing tricky here whatsoever. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Unless you're a beginner at Sudoku, in which case this is how to fill in a fairly straightforward game uh, of Sudoku. This is a seven. Uh, what do we need? What have we got? We've got three, six. Three, four, six, eight. So let's click on the numbers that we still need. We still need one. So we've got one blocking across there. That'll give us a one there, one blocking down here. There's the one. That's the final digit one. In this space, we can place a nine. Uh, and up here, we can place a seven. Seven then blocks across there and blocks up here. So there's our seven. That's the end of digit seven. Five blocks up here. It gives us a five in this square. Five across there means that's a five. We need a nine at the end of this row. And we need a two to go here. We still need a nine in that block and nine blocks down here. There's our nine, there's our five, as I said. Very simple puzzle there, nothing expert level, no expert skills needed at all. Uh, that's the way the cookie, Sudoku cookie crumbles. 
Uh, I'll see you over. See you for more games this weekend, and uh, hope it's a good one for you. Take care. Bye bye.